Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So today's look is a full face using All Essence Cosmetics, which is a brand that you can find in New Zealand. It was so cheap, the whole face, everything, every product that I've used today was, all came to under $50. So if you're interested in this video, just keep on watching. Thanks guys. So first I'm just going to start off with this eyebrow designer pencil and it's in the shade brown. The pencil is like really dry and so you sort of have to push quite hard to get any sort of good strong colour out of it. Now I'm just going to go on with this Lash and Brow Gel Mascara and it's just a clear one here. This is actually making it a little bit better like um, pushing the product around a little bit. Cool, so then now I'm just going to go on with this Essence Stay Natural Concealer and it is in the shade Soft Nude. I've heard of things about this concealer too, so it should be pretty good. And I'm just going to blend it out with my finger like I would normally do. Now that I've patted all that out evenly, I'm going to go into this mattifying powder I have here. And it is in the shade Soft Beige, and I'm just going to put that all over my lid just to set it. That looks pretty good, I reckon, actually. I thought the powder was going to be a little bit too dark because it looks a bit dark in the case but it looks quite good and it says it's soft beige so it should be a good sort of colour for me. So now I'm just going to go in with this eye and face palette. So I'm just going to go in with this grey shade here and just pop that in my crease as a transition. Just going to go in with this darker brown shade there and just put that in my crease. Then I'm just going to pack this highlighter shade here just using my finger on the inner corner of my eyes. I'm just going to move on to lashes and I'm going to be using the I Love Extreme Clay Crazy Volume Mascara by Essence and I've already tried this one and it is really good. It makes my lashes really long but it also separates them really well at the same time. Cool, so I just stuck on some massive lashes to cover up that little eyeshadow I did there and um, now we're going to go on to foundation because they didn't have a primer that I could see so we're going to go on to foundation. So I tested this on my face, I just did a little patch test on my face the other day and it oxidised a lot, it turned a little bit orange on me. We'll see how this goes. So right now it doesn't actually look too bad compared to my neck. It's oxidised a little bit, but not too much. And the coverage is pretty good. Okay, so now I'm just going to go back in with that concealer, the same one I used to prime my eyes. And just take that under here. So I'm just going to go back in with that same false, 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 that same face powder again and I'm just going to use that to set my whole face. I'm so like shocked because every single one of these products were 
between three to I'd say eight dollars and the whole face was fifty dollars and everything looks so good like so good so next I'm gonna go in with this contouring um, face contouring palette shape your face I do not know what this orange I don't know if you can see I do not know what that orange shade is for oh it's a blush cool so first it says apply first the darker shade directly below the cheekbones on the temples on the sides of the nose blend it with a powder brush Cool, now I'm just going to go into this big matte bronzer and this one was about $6. Probably a bit light for a bronzer for me but we'll go ahead and try it. I'm just going to put that shade around my jawbone a bit too. Just a little. And down my neck and then down the sides of my nose. did buy another blush anyway and um, this is in the sa shade satin satin coral and we'll just see how this looks oh yeah i like that okay so the next thing i'm going in is back into this eye and face palette and it has the highlighting shade that i used for my eyeshadow so I'm just going to take that and I'm going to highlight my face with it. It's really powdery. I it up. Oh, wow. I do have a lip gloss that I already own from there that I really really like but I don't think I'm going to be able to find it. So I'm just going to go pop on a lipstick and then I'll be right back. Cool so this is the finished look here guys. I am so surprised at every single one of these products. Every single thing I liked. Was there something? Maybe just the brow product but I think the um, brow gel actually made the product work into the brows better which was really surprising and really good because this whole face was under $50 and it's really surprising to see that $50 can get you all of that and it all works so you can spend all your money on all this high end stuff but at the end of the day this stuff works just as good or it can work just as good so I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this video I'll see you in my next one and make sure to like and subscribe bye guys